All right, John. Hey, Coach Risto, how are you doing? Uh, we'll, we'll just go right into it. Rain delay, lightning delay, flashbacks to last year, coming out flat. They come down, 90-yard drive. You guys respond. Talk about that, that transition. Of yeah, I think this is obviously a game of momentum. You know, we had a chance 7-0, and then we got one called back, and that, that momentum was there, and then we got the dang lightning delay, and then we went to the locker room. I thought we had them pinned. They convert on that third and long. And then it got a little momentum, and then we were able to uh, stop it, you, you know, with getting a turnover and then driving it down on the next series and making a big play. So this is a, really a game of momentum, and I give my credit to Mines, and we are just able to steal it a little bit. Pass game, run game, everything was clicking tonight. That's kind of fun for you as a coach, right? Uh, it was nice to be able to have the productivity out of our pass game. Those guys worked really hard. We changed some things up in the offseason, so I was re really excited for that. Defense. Uh, a lot of new personnel, you know, guys that have had some snaps, but really first time starting, you know, meshing together. How did you like the defense? Yeah, I thought it was nice. You know, we got some bugs we got to fix, fix but I, I was really impressed with the way they flew around and made plays. It's got to be fun to get turnovers uh, right away in the first game. How, how, how does that just kind of carry over as you continue? Well, we want to make sure that uh, we we don't turn the ball over and we get turnovers. That's a great formula for wins. <laughs> now you go on the road for three weeks. How do you kind of turn around and, and get ready for WT. Well, we're, we're going to watch the game film tomorrow, and then we are uh, uh, giving the weekend off, and then we'll come back to work on Monday and, and try to figure out if we can beat West Texas or not. Thanks, John. Go Pack. Brandon, uh, first Division Two collegiate start. Um, kind of new year you're, you're going to start, you know, mm -hmm. as, as you prepared this week. What was your mentality heading into the game? You know, uh, it's been uh, about a year since I've played on the field and stuff. I took a year off and uh, just trying to take it one play at a time, you know, try I mean, it's a big setting it's a lot bigger than my juco and stuff so i really just tried to you know cancel everything out and just focus on what the game plan was and stuff and just go with it make that first uh, touchdown pass to o'shea is that kind of just let you breathe a little bit yeah yeah after that i mean i was i was locked in i was ready it felt good yeah. uh, switching up between you and aj a little bit in the second half um was that kind of the game plan and, and yeah yeah that, yeah that was that was set you know uh, aj has some he's got a different set, set of skills than I do and so we need to use those you know and I mean I gotta give credit to um, AJ and Rex you know they've been behind, they've been behind me this whole time telling me they got my back and I, I got their back and so I mean it's a really close quarterback uh, group we have so it's great to be a part of. This offense is, is really old a lot of seniors uh, but the wide receiver core is relatively new. Yeah. Guys, whether it's you or AJ hit I don't know six seven eight different guys in, in the back or in the downfield kind of what what was it about just spreading the ball to Night. Yeah, I mean, everyone was running good routes. Uh, defense was trying to take one thing away, we'd hit them with another. You know, it's just like it's like a big game of chess. You know, you gotta take what they give you and just keep going, keep going, and that's what we did tonight. So, run game was CSU Pueblo S. Yeah. No matter who is who's handing the ball off or who got the ball, it was fun to watch. How does that help you as a quarterback? It helps me out a lot because I mean, you know, you run the ball, the pass game opens up, vice versa. You pass the ball, run run game opens up, and our offensive line, you, you know, they're in for both. They gotta block the run, they got to block the pass, and I felt comfortable back there behind them. It's the best I want I've ever been behind, so it's, it's great. It's really nice. Do you turn this into a W next week? Say what? How do you turn this into a win next week? Uh, just got to keep our head down, keep going to work, one game at a time, you know, how coach says, execute with excellence. We're going to be in the film room, uh, really getting uh, just everything rolling again, so I'm already excited for it. <laughs> Alright, thanks Brandon. Alright, thank you. Michael, making the transition from tight end to D-line, you start getting in the mix, making tackles, just kind of talk about your emotions tonight, uh, switching over to the defensive side. I mean, I thought it was a good good night. We came out after that. Uh, we had the momentum before the thunderstorm, but after that thunderstorm, we came out and fired off. Uh, me coming from tight end and you know starting on the defensive line, I thought I you know I had something to prove, and I thought I did really well. You know, uh, making tackles with. You know, Croy and Dion, and you know all the linebackers, and Payer. Everyone was just firing off. We had a good, we, we executed with excellence. You know, and yeah. 
How fun was it uh, with those three? You mentioned Josh and, and Dion. Like, you guys are just clicking. You're all over the ball. You're swimming when you get in the backfield. Just how fun is that as a crew as, as you get to, as you just kind of grow already? At this I mean, yeah. I mean, if, if I'm not making the play, Croy's back there making a the play, or Payer's coming up and filling that hole, or anybody. You know, we're just clicking. What was the conversation like after the 90 yard drive, after the lightning delay? Uh, you know, you give up a 90 yard touchdown. And uh, <laughs> what was the what was the conversation like after that drive, and then when you guys had to come back in the field? Just do your job, you know. So what, what Leo and uh, Coach Herm and Kreiner, all you know. Uh, uh, what do they you know to tell us every every game you know um, just do your job if you're doing your job everyone else is doing their job and then everything will work out fine you know at, work out as planned you're on the road now for three weeks what do you do to kind of get ready and, and turn your focus to WT uh, you know that's gonna be a, a fun week be, we'll have to work hard all week you know but we'll, we'll get you know we know who's over there and uh, we just got to do our job you know perfect all right. thank you